White Eagle, and I'm a keeper of the Gallagher Lodge teachings. Um, this is a name for a very old tradition that is filled with, uh, you can see it as a big beautiful bundle filled with what we call medicine wheels, but they're actually maps of energy and how energy creates wholeness from the birthing of it all the way through to the transformation power of it. So what I do, my job as a keeper of this old tradition is to carry this bundle everywhere in the world that it is yearned for and to open it so that people can bring their spirits to the information and begin to grow themselves and understand how big they really are. So it's a, it's a beautiful gift to me to be able to carry this in the world. The people that I meet are some of the most amazing spirits on this planet in this time. I've been doing this for 25 years now and I see uh, the consciousness level growing and I'm hungry to keep feeding it as a keeper of this tradition. It's a great gift to me. This land that I live on is a place called Stardance in northern New Mexico. It was gifted into my life um, and I am blessed to be the guardian of this amazing little spot of heaven on the planet. And we've dedicated this land to the learning and the growing of the human spirit and to groups gathering here that are walking a conscious path of wanting to bring healing to the sacred hoop of life or to life in general in all aspects of it. So uh, the land has a song here and it doesn't let people hide from big truths. So this is what we do here. We create ceremonial experiences and we prepare the land and open it for those that want to come to do their deepest work here. And the land is what does that. So we are blessed here too. When we brought up the idea of the council guide training, uh, joining with the chaos pilots in Switzerland, mm -hmm. you immediately jumped on this idea. Mm -hmm. Can you share quickly why your inspiration was immediately on the spot for that? Sure. That's an easy answer. For the last 25 years, off and on, I've had one of the students or a couple of the students from the chaos pilot journey come into this bundle to study with me and what I saw immediately in them is the the sense of willingness to start challenging the things in life that are not beautiful and whole the willingness to start growing new ideas that are going to bring more systemic healing and health to this whole thing that we call life from business to education to um, family work to all kinds of different into all kinds of different territories in life so I found their spirit to be ready to dance in some big ways. And I immediately saw that these, these could be the guardians, these could be the ones that would come and help us open this important information and dance it into the new systems that need to be created. It was an immediate, as you said, an immediate yes in my heart, knowing. Because I'm trained to look for the places where the seeds of this kind of wisdom will grow the quickest and be at most benefit to life. And this is what I saw in each of the students that came to train me. So I was thrilled when you came up with the idea. And I can see the dream rolling out, and I'm, I'm honored to be able to play any part of it. Can you say what it takes for a council guide uh, to do his or her work, and maybe also combine that with your vision of why social entrepreneurs are really needed in this world? I'll start with the second question. Social entrepreneurs, it's a beautiful way of describing uh, human beings that want to go out and move into society at all the different levels that society exists from, again, the, the smaller insular families to big business and everything in between, which includes all levels of education. And to be an entrepreneur, somebody that is willing to open to a greater dream of what next needs to be created to bring wholeness. Social entrepreneurs, uh, to me, are going to lead the future. They're going to lead us into the new places we need to go. So without them, I don't know what the chances are for us. Uh, they're going to play a pivotal role. And they're of an age because they're still young, um, yet they're still mature. And they've got that yearning, that drive in them to be a part of something bigger. So I think it's a perfect 
And what does somebody coming into CGT need to bring when they come in order to successfully dive into this information? First thing they need to bring is a willingness to understand themselves deeper, to open to the potential that lives in them, because the potential that lives in the human are gifts that we carry. They are endless. They are huge because life created us and everything is evolving and so is our consciousness. So they've got to be willing to challenge the images, attitudes, beliefs, and opinions that may live in them that are keeping them smaller than they need to be. They need to be willing to dance into how big they can be. And then they need to have that yearning to carry it out into the world in order to help others find that way in whatever kind of systems they're choosing to give their passion to as entrepreneurs. Thank you very much.